Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, Matt Mike, coming at you guys for more Atlanta Falcons news. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe button. Tell your fan to come to that Falcons football with your boy. Also, let's... Hmm. Never mind. Uh, let's just get straight to it, all right? I, I was going to do a little something, but I changed my mind. All right, all right. Let's get straight to this, man. Um, The news out of the NFL and just some NFC South things, and I think everybody's heard up to this point, Cam Newton um, is back. All right, he is back with the Carolina Panthers. I think this is probably the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. I'm just going to be honest. You got rid of him for a reason. He's not any good. He's old. He's worn down. He's tore up. But obviously, these guys are pretty much laid. <laughs> they Look, they pretty much screwed this whole offseason up, all right? They brought in Sam Dono. They should have just drafted a quarterback, but that's neither here nor there. All right, Cam Newton is back for about, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of $10 million. Um, 4.5 guaranteed, 1.5 in the roster bonus. This is just a damn mess. I, I'm just going to be honest. This is stupid. It's a mess. And uh, the news out of the NFC, all right, I think this is probably the biggest one. Odell Beckham is signing a one-year deal with the Rams. Um, finalized. It is finalized and I think this is a very good deal for the Rams um they have a pretty good offense at this point they have a pretty good team at this point and I'm just going to be honest if you don't get this shit done now Sean McVay your ass deserves to be fired all right you've been to the Super Bowl once before um you should have been um you should have won it to begin with and you end up screwing it up too um so at this point if you bring in a guy like Odell Beckham, and you still don't get it done after you traded Jared Goff, you traded for uh, Matthew Stafford, and you don't get it done, you deserve, all right? You deserve to be fired. Now, I'm just going to keep it real. Um, I don't understand why he continues to get, uh, why he would be able to get a, um, you know, a new uh, another chance if he doesn't get this done this time. All right, uh, some news, some injury news. Um, Dallas Cowboys, Randy Gregory will miss multiple weeks with the calf injury. Um, I think this is very good news, obviously, for the Atlanta Falcons. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, another pass rusher. Uh, the, I think everybody knows DeMarcus Lawrence is out. Tank Lawrence is out. Don't have to worry about him as well. Um, injuries for the Atlanta Falcons tight end. His uh, tight end Lee Smith is back. Kendall Sheffield hamstring missed his second straight day of practice. Um, Thursday, Stephen Means, uh, Jonathan B uh, Bullard were limited um, for the second straight day. Um, the Falcons are definitely having their issues with, uh, you know, uh, injuries. I don't think these injuries are going to keep them out. I fully expect the Falcons, uh, these players, to bounce back. All right, come to Sheffield. I'm just going to be honest. Um, uh, there have been – I don't know if he's going to – I just don't know if he's going to stay with this team. Uh, it's just been a mess. It's just been a mess for – Anything Thomas Dimitrov, Dan Quinn related, these guys are going to be gone. And I, I, I Kenny Sheffield is hanging on by a thread. Uh, at this point, I have no idea why he's still even with the team. He's not going to get a lot. But Stephen Means, Jonathan Bullard, those guys, in my opinion, will, um, those guys will, uh, you know, they'll stay, they'll get there, they'll be back, and they will play, in my opinion. But, uh, Falcons offensive coordinator Dave Ragone. We've been talking about Mike Davis and whether or not um, he has been a disappointment. And this is just my personal opinion. Uh, up to this point, um, I think he has been a disappointment as far as a runner. Um, I, I expected much more out of this guy than what we're getting. He's getting a guy that get one yard here, two yards here. He's just not getting it done. And, you know, there's still room for improvement. Um, you know, these guys are pretty much saying that he is, you know, an asset. Matt Ryan came out and said he is, you know, definitely appreciative of what he can provide for this offense um, as far as pass protection, keeping Matt Ryan healthy and whatnot. Um, it, it definitely helped us. So it's not a total loss, but I'm just going to be honest, man. It's just not what 
I expected from Mike Davis. Um, Dean Pease, Dean Pease, this is probably the biggest thing for me personally. Dean Pease come out and pretty much said that the defense is only seeing 30% of what he can uh, bring to a defense as far as his playbook is concerned. He is bringing these guys along slowly. A lot of guys can't pick up the, the you know the concept that he is as a defensive coordinator uh, is you know putting out there. So. He's giving them a little at time, and for the most part, uh, the Falcons are ranked 12th defensively in pass and pass defense. Um, and and quite frankly, man, they're 20. I believe they're 21st in red zone um, in red zone defense. So the Falcons are slowly improving. Um, they much better team defensively from last year and it's just going to take a, it's going to be a process these guys still got guys like Dante Fowler out um, Isaiah Oliver is a, a, was a huge loss for this defense and um, they just got a lot of guys to injure so at the end of the day man Dean Pease this defense is going they, they, they're improving but when you get these guys back healthy um, guys finally figure out what they're going um, what their assignment is, and they finally understand what Dean Pease in its entirety wants from his defenders. You know, he he, he um, added AJ Terrell as a you know a team leader. So obviously AJ Terrell, obviously in my opinion, probably one of the best. Um, you know, I think he's top three in corners without question. Um, and that's just my opinion. Um, I, I'm just gonna be honest. I would rather take. Uh, AJ Terrell over a guy like Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey is a very good corner, but my money, even as a youngster, man, I believe AJ Terrell is just going to be and is a, just a, an amazing corner. Um, far exceeded my expectations as a defense, uh, as a defender, and a lot of people. So let me know what you guys think about this, man. This has been a Atlanta Falcons Nation, Matt Mike Sports, Atlanta Falcons News Update. Continue to get your news right here at Mad Mike Sports. And I'm out of here, baby. Peace.